We had so many questions about this specific picture, so it was about time. It's been like four years now since we, we did it. Yes, the shape, the shape. I, I told you so many times, we're going to explain. We filmed it from all angles. We created this one four years ago on Mosquito Island in the Caribbean. We shot on a remote beach. We walked for about an hour to get there. It was a very windy night, so we wanted to avoid shooting at the beach because the waves were quite strong. So we found this little puddle uh, that we decided to use to get a reflection. The clouds were so ugly that night and I just wanted to stop shooting because I was not going anywhere. But I remembered if I get rid of the clouds, then I can go on and on forever. Well, until dinner is ready, of course. But so this is what I did. I totally get, got rid of the background, so pitch black background. And then suddenly uh, we were on a roll, so we created a lot. And I wanted to do this specific shape that we learned from our friend Derek Harris. Just a few months earlier, we shot with him. That's episode 150. Right. And so he showed us his technique and he's doing it the hard way. Um, I have a pressure switch that is making it much easier. So, so I pop the light, I do the circle, I release the button. And then I press again and I draw the S. And that's why we call it the S circle shape. And right here you can see how Eric does the shape in different angles so it's easier to understand the motion with the light. Since Eric is doing two shape in a single exposure, that makes it very challenging and the shape is complex and is very hard to replicate. It requires a lot of precision. As usual, for most of our reflection shot, the camera was set very low, close to the water, so we could get a very long reflection. It was very windy, so you can see the, the colors and the impact of the wind on the, the water. I use a rose bronze tube with a rose bronze feather on top of it and a texture insert. The texture is the, the thing that we use to get those lines inside the shape. So we explained that in episode number 194, the setting. So that's very similar to what I do in the studio. 24 millimeters, F8, ISO 400, and 3.9 seconds exposure. So that means that was back in the days where I was using the bulb mode, the bulb, B-U-L-B. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm shooting in manual, so I would have uh, shot at uh, four seconds to get this one right. Four seconds is okay if it's not too windy. The wind calmed down a little bit when we did this one, so it was okay, but that's a very limit. Otherwise, you you have uh, you increase your chances of having a blurry subject. You're the sunshine on my mind. 